Welcome geometry students to another Math and Man episode where we will be going over a special right triangle called 30, 60, 90. This triangle is used to find the missing links of a right triangle given one value. Across the 30 degree measurement, we'll say that that's a value of A. The one across 90 is twice as A, so whatever A is times 2, and the one across 60 is A times the square root of 3. This video, I'm going to be going over all three scenarios that they might ask when you're dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. First one's the easiest. Looking at my cheat sheet, the one across 30 is given as A, and that's also given to us as 11. Then I know the hypotenuse, the one across 90, is going to be twice the length segment of whatever A is. So this is given as 2A, which is 2 times 11, that comes out to 22. The one across 60 is whatever A is times the square root of 3. Well, I know what A is. It's 11, so that's pretty easy. I just have to do 11 times the square root of 3, which is 19.05. Here's how I know I'm doing this right. My hypotenuse has to be the longest length, and if I compare them to the two other legs, it is longer, so there's an indication that I'm doing this right. Let's try out the second problem. Scenario number two. This is a 30, 60, 90. I mean, they don't label this as 30, but it has to be 30 because the interior angles have to add up to 180. I'm given a 60 and a 90 there, so that has to be 30. In my 30, 60, 90, the one across 30 is X, then the one across the 90 degree angle, the hypotenuse, has to be given as 2X. Looking at my cheat sheet right there. So the one across 60 has to be whatever x is times the square root of 3. In this problem, I don't have the value of x. But if you look around, you can find the value of x by doing a simple equation. This equation right here. 24 equals 2x. That's pretty easy to solve. That's just a one-step equation. Divide 2 to both sides. And now we get 24 divided by 2 is 12. These cancel out and you got X as 12. Now that I have that, I know that my hypotenuse is 24. The one across 30 degrees is going to be given to us as 12. And the one across 60 is whatever X is times square root of 3. Well, I know that X equals 12. So that just equals 12 times the square root of 3, which is 20.78. This one's the hardest scenario, but it's not too bad if you know how to solve equations with square roots. The only thing given to us is B as 15. We know that that's 15. The one across 60. If this is A, the one across 30, then we know that the hypotenuse is whatever A is times 2, and we know the one across 60 is whatever A is times the square root of 3. Nothing else is given to us. We're trying to find the value of A because once I have this, all I have to do is multiply by 2 to get the hypotenuse. And then we're already given this one across 60 as 15. If you look around, you can set up an equation right here. We know that this is A, whatever A is times square root of 3. And we know that that's 15. So we can set up this equation right here. A times the square root of 3 equals 15. To have a by itself, we can divide both sides by the square root of 3. And then this cancels off. Now I get a equal to 15 times the square root of 3. Sometimes your teacher will say that this is in proper form. Unless they just ask for a decimal, then you can just divide this in your calculator. But if you want to put it into proper form, you can get rid of this radical by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3, then you get this to come down to 15 times square root of 3 equals square root of 3 times square root of 3. The radicals cancel out and you just get 3. From here, you can even simplify it further. 15 divided by 3 is just 5 square root of 3. And you got your answer for A. So now I know that that's 5 square root of 3. And to find the hypotenuse, it's whatever A is times 2. 
2 times 5 square root of 3, which gives that to us as 10 square root of 3. If you want decimal answers, I'll provide that for you too. That equals 8.6. So that's 8.6. This was given. That's 15. And then the last length, 10 times the square root of 3, that's 17.3. If you want to learn about the Pythagorean Theorem, click on this video right here. There is another special right triangle called the 45-45-90. So if you want to learn about that, click on this video right here. Throw me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more math lessons. I will see you on the next episode. Peace.